Hey, what's happening, guys? One more time for Ben, right? Killing the shit out of this show. Yeah. And I don't know if you heard Ben when he brought me up, guys, but yes, my name is Faisal Butt. That's my real name, and that is not a good name to have in high school or prison. Let me ask, have you guys ever been bored at work and you just sort of Google your own name just to see what comes up, see who else is out there? Yeah, you did it. I did that once. I Googled Faisal Butt and 18 million porn sites just came up. And then Google on its high horse was like, oh, did you mean facial butt? I was like, no, Google. Just trying to feel good about myself, but thanks for introducing me to my new thing. <laughs> so if you guys like my comedy, which you obviously do, you want to check out my website, it's www.bukakianofuckslutz.ca. <laughs> Cause I'm Canadian. Don't get it twisted. I don't know how to prove that to you. But one day, if you're feeling brave, let's take a flight together. And yeah. You can verify my passport. Um, guys, I was in the back of the room, and I was watching you guys watch the show, right? And I bet you didn't realize this, but clearly we have many things in common. For example, I also have white friends. Yeah, I do. And I love my white friends, except right now they're a little too comfortable with me because they're always coming up to me. They're like, Faisal, look at you, man. You're brown, your hair's all over the place, huh? You got a crazy beard, huh, bro? You're starting to look like a terrorist. <laughs> hey, guys, guys, come here. Melanie, Doug, Steve, Earl, Jim, John, Rachel, Ryan, Peter, Paul, Aaron, 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 Aaron. The other Steve, does that Faisal look like a terrorist? And I always respond with, man, why can't I just look lazy? <laughs> or broke. You think Al-Qaeda shops at the liquidation rack at Old Navy? Do you know how much a Mach 3 blade costs? $15.99. $17.46 with tax. That's four shots of Jack Daniels with no tip. Back home, I can get five grams of weed at friend prices. Because ladies and gentlemen, society, I'm a 36-year-old unemployed, whiskey-drinking, pot-smoking Muslim who's dating a Jewish girl. Thank you. I was gonna say, the only people I'm terrorizing are my parents. I've got a jihad on their dreams. Sorry guys, I'm really bad with accents. I know there's like nine of you like, no, 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 no. That's not how you people sound like. Wow, it's hot up here right now. I don't know if you feel it too. It's like Pakistan elections hot right now. Woo, putting in work. I know it's Tuesday, but who's drinking with me? Six of us? Okay, let's do this. Excuse me, I don't want to be rude, but, oh. Uh, mm, mm. Oh my God, thank you, Allah. <laughs> I don't know why you banned this shit from us all these years. Pretty sure a whole lot of problems in the world could have been avoided. What, what's that? Oh, you don't exist? Okay, cool, sorry. Um, <laughs> Yeah, guys, that's what I set out to do tonight, folks, was to offend the predominantly Muslim turnout <laughs> at a comedy show in Montreal on game night. <laughs> this guy got edgy. Um, how are you doing, miss? Great. Great. Uh, I'm going to go, but you can pick the last joke. Cool? Here we go, so don't fuck up. Transformers, tsunami, my Indian girlfriend, Arab cab drivers, or my last job. Here we go, three seconds. Did everyone hear this random white lady say tsunami? Great, okay. Wow, what a dangerously specific request. Um, 
There's a fine line between comedy and tragedy, I guess. And I was reading this story a couple years ago. You remember that first tsunami that happened where we didn't have amazing footage? I came across, I came across a story about a mother in a tree holding on to her two kids. She had her eight-year-old and her three-year-old, and the waves were crashing in, and she only had enough strength to hold on to one child. And as a parent, that's a decision you should never have to make, but her logic was the three year olds later, that way the both of us will survive. And that's what she did, let go of her eight-year-old and watched him float away. But miraculously, that eight-year-old, he survived. And that family ended up being reunited two days later. I'm just saying, I would have loved to have been there for that reuniting moment. Can you imagine after two agonizing days, she finally sees her son like, oh my God, thank God you're alive, Billy. And Billy's looking at her like, bitch, you let me go. <laughs> and if I'm that kid, if I'm Billy, I'm gonna use that for the rest of my life. Uh, Mom, it's my birthday. I want a Nintendo Wii U, a new TV, a plasma TV, and maybe some therapy. And the mom's looking at her like, I don't think we could get you all these gifts, you know. Money's a little tight. And Billy would just say, hey, mom, you know what wasn't tight? Your grip on my hand. You guys have been phenomenal. Give it up for Ben Mine one more time.